Today, it's a quick DIY if one of your LED lights burnt out on your Beam Up BU400 garage door opener. We'll show you how to replace them. Since we had to do it, you might as well learn along. It's how to replace or fix the LED lights in the Beam Up BU400 opener. So the first thing you'll see is the Beam Company is going to ship you this clip connector set. It's plastic. It snaps together really easily. It fits one way. As long as you have that screw hole facing outwards, like I show you, you'll be able to screw that in. And when we flip it over, you can see how we line up the lights with the clips. So let's start by making sure it's unplugged for safety, of course. We'll undo the two screws that are on the back. They're at the top, straight Phillips head, and tip this back. You'll notice a red connector inside on the top left. We're going to disconnect that red connector. It actually connects one wire down to where the LED panel controls are. Once you pop that off, everything else will come apart very easily. You can see it down there. Now we'll go to the left side. There'll be two screws again that's going to take this whole bottom part off on each side. So there's one there, one on the other side, and if we swing the camera around to the far side, same two screws again. Once you take these off, have your hand underneath because this top part will drop down and come off. Once you're taking the cover off, you'll notice on the left side, there's these three clips. Those are the three LED lights on the bottom. You'll need to disconnect those next as well so the rest of the tray can drop. Once it does, you'll undo the two screws that I showed you from the tray earlier that holds it up on the left and the right. Unscrew both of those. The whole bottom and the LED lights will come off. So a quick piece of strategy when you're laying this out is to put these pieces and how they will be up top. What you'll notice is, remember that connector was on the left side that we just talked about that goes to? So you'll want this LED with the short one on the left side. You want the longer one on the right. Then you want the connector from the big panel also coming on the left side. So we flip this over. Remember it hangs just like this with those connector pieces that go straight up. I got them out of the way so you could see. The big piece will lay across. So if you put both of those on the left side, and I'll show you how it connects in a second, it'll easily just snap in and then you move the one cord over and the other two are already there. So I, I didn't realize it the first time I actually had this one backwards and just popped it off the clips. The clips are very easy to come on and off. So that's not a problem either because you'll probably be reusing the same clip if they don't send you a new one or if you just buy one of these LED lights by itself. So you'll have to specify which one you need. There is a left and a right or you can get two rights actually then just use the longer cord but they go on very easily. So when you're putting them on the side for the left, they actually just go in the hole, they snap on the snap, and then they go down. What you'll notice is this round part right here, you wanna put with the round part for the hole. Makes it easy for you to screw it in when you get it up there. So we'll snap the pieces on, and then all we're gonna do is reverse the order we took it out, plug in the three connectors, and turn it back on. So as I said, I have screwed on the actual holding plate, I have reconnected the three connectors, and now I'm gonna slide the cover back on. So we'll do the exact reverse. We'll start on the right side and screw in both of those screws. We'll make sure we line up that front plastic plate that sits on the front of it. We'll go over to the left side and we'll put in those two screws. Once that thing is set straight, then you just place that back panel back in. And before you close it up, we'll reconnect that red cable. Once that red cable is reconnected, push that in, put in both screws. And then of course, at the end, we power it up. Hopefully you see how easy it was after it's powered up. Give it a quick walk around as everything lined up and all the lights are working. Everything will be back to where it was. You didn't change any sensor settings or anything else. It was just changing the LED lights. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe today.